जय हिंद टू ऑल नाउ टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन शॉर्ट इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल सो वी विल कंटिन्यू द प्रीवियस लेक्चर हेयर सो यू हैव टू नाउ हेयर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इट वॉज इट वॉज देयर ए जेड इज इक्वल टू म्यू जीरो एल आई जीरो ई की पावर जे ओमेगा टी माइनस आर अपॉन सी अपॉन फोर पाई सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए जेड and in the previous lecture it was also covered that v is equal to i0 l cos theta e ki power j omega t minus r upon c in bracket 1 upon r plus c upon j omega product of 1 upon r square upon 4 pi epsilon not c so these are the values of e a z and v now here it was also covered that how we can write down del v this is the gradient of v that is equal to this is unit vector of r del v upon del r unit vector of theta 1 upon r del v upon del theta plus a phi 1 upon r sin theta del v upon del phi it was covered in the previous unit that how we can write down gradient of v in form of spherical coordinate now e is equal to what unit vector of r e r unit vector of theta e theta plus unit vector of phi e phi now e phi is equal to what here zero as you all know a phi is equal to zero del v upon del phi is equal to zero so e phi is equal to zero so remove this term and you will get here e is equal to unit vector of r e r plus a unit vector of theta e theta now with the help of this equation you can put here er is equal to minus j omega ar minus del v upon del r so put here the value of ar ar is equal to az cos theta and this is minus del v upon del r so here also e theta is equal to what so you have to write down er e theta so e theta is equal to minus j omega a theta minus del 1 upon r del v upon del theta so here put the value of a theta that is equal to az sin theta so you will get here e theta is equal to minus j omega az sin theta minus 1 upon r del v upon del theta now put the value of here az and v from the previous equation and you will get here er is equal to i0 l cos theta e ki power j omega t minus r upon c in bracket 1 upon c r square plus 1 upon j omega r q up here 2 pi epsilon not now here so this is er and if, when you will put the value of az and v in the previous equation here here this is az and v so you will get here e theta is equal to i0 l sin theta e ki power j omega t minus r upon c in bracket j omega upon c square r plus 1 upon c r square plus 1 upon j omega r q upon this is 4 pi epsilon not now this is the electric field here you are getting er e theta e phi so e phi is equal to 0 and er and e theta these are the coordinates of electric field now second point is that you have to find out the magnetic field of short dipole and magnetic field short dipole is equal to what h is equal to 1 upon mu del cross a del cross a means you have to find out the curl of a and a is what you should know a r a theta a a phi right so when you will know a r a theta a phi you can find out the curl of a now here so curl of a means here you have a sorry unit vector of r unit vector of theta unit vector of phi 1 upon r 1 upon r sin theta already we have covered how to write, find out the curl of a in polar coordinates so here del upon del r del upon del theta del upon del phi here value of a r a phi a a theta a phi right so you can put all these values here 1 upon r 1 upon r sin theta right so put here the value a phi is equal to what zero it means when you will find the unit vector of r del upon del theta this is zero minus del upon del phi a phi so here you will get uh, if coordinates are not same so here you will get here the value of zero now find out the coordinate for a phi a sorry this is a theta a phi a theta and a phi so according to this means according to this formula as we have done in the first video like first uh, unit of video lecture so here there you know the how to write down curl of a uh, in polar coordinates so according to that you can find out del cross a is equal to what unit vector of r upon r sin theta del sin theta a phi upon del theta minus del del a phi 
ए थीटा अपॉन डेल फाइव प्लस यूनिट वेक्टर ऑफ थीटा आर साइन थीटा अपॉन आर साइन थीटा डेल अपॉन डेल ए आर अपॉन डेल फाइव माइनस डेल आर साइन थीटा ए फाइव अपॉन डेल आर प्लस यूनिट वेक्टर ऑफ फाइव अपॉन आर डेल आर ए थीटा अपॉन डेल आर माइनस डेल ए आर अपॉन डेल थीटा सो आर थीटा फाइव आर यूनिट वैक्टर्स नाउ ए फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ टर्म ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ टर्म दिस इज ए फाइव एंड दोर्थ टर्म इज फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ टर्म so a5 this is also a5 so a5 is equal to 0 so you can find out ar and a theta that is independent of phi because you, this is these are independent of phi so you can find out ar and a theta right now here so h is equal to what h is equal to h phi i0 l sin theta e to power j omega t minus r upon c j omega upon c r plus 1 upon r square upon 4 pi how you are getting this h phi when you will put the value of del cross a so when you will put the value of del cross a you, when you will get the value of del cross a you can put here and you will get here h phi so hr and h theta are, uh, hr and h theta are equal to 0 so you will get here h phi ki value this is your h phi value now far field case so far field case r is very large terms of 1 upon r square and 1 upon r cube can be neglected in favor of the term 1 upon r so in the case of far field you can neglect 1 upon r square terms and 1 upon r cube term from the previous equation let it be here 1 upon r square so you can ignore this and 1 upon r cube also you can ignore the value then you will get here e theta h phi so e theta h phi uh, we are getting these from the previous slide that how we can find out e theta and h phi so here you will get when you will ignore 1 upon r square and 1 upon r cube now put here these values and you will get here this now here omega if you are taking um, uh, this is your j i0 beta l upon 4 pi epsilon not cr if here you are taking omega upon c omega upon c is equal to what beta so put here the value beta and you will get this equation now here also omega upon c that is also beta so you will get h phi in form of beta now beta is what beta is phase constant 2 upon 2 pi upon lambda now next point is intrinsic impedance of the free space now intrinsic impedance of the free space is the ratio of e theta upon h phi so e theta you all know e theta value is this and h phi value is this so e theta upon h phi if you will divide this equation 22 by 23 so you will get here in, intrinsic impedance so when you will divide you will get this equation 1 upon epsilon not c now here c is equal to what C is equal to one upon under root mu zero and epsilon zero. So you can put there here C value of C. So you will get here equation uh, one upon epsilon not C. So put here the value of C. So you will get here under root epsilon not sorry mu not upon epsilon not. So here this is equal to what you can put the value of here mu zero and epsilon zero. and you will get here equation uh, value 377 ohm now next point is radiation pattern so you have to draw the radiation pattern now you can see the previous equation this previous equation in form of sin theta so here sin theta theta if sin theta is equal to 0 so theta is equal to 0 it means there is no radiation right and if theta is equal to maximum now if you can put the value of the sin theta so theta is equal to 0 it means here is no radiation or you can put the value of 1 180 degree here is less radiation but if you will put here theta is equal to 90 degree it means your radiation is maximum at 90 degree you have this radiation and 270 degree you have this radiation so shape of radiation pattern is like this when you have if you have the equation previous equation in form of sin theta now field of a short dipole at very low frequency if you have to find out field of a short dipole at very low frequency it means the this is the case of very low frequency and it is referred as quasi stationary or dc case now here i is equal to i0 e to power j omega t minus r upon c so j omega q that is also equal to j omega q now in the view of equation second the previous equation you can find write down er is equal to what you can put i0 is equal to I zero into e की बार j omega t minus r upon c equal to j omega cube. 
so you can put here the value of q so you will get here e value of er here you will get the value of e theta now uh, in the in that form you can find out h phi h phi is also in form of i l sin theta upon 4 pi in bracket j omega c r plus 1 upon r square so when you will put when you will view the equation second and 18 you will get e r e theta and h phi is your magnetic field now you have to find out radiation resistance of a short dipole when you will find radiation resistance let us consider as already it was considered that this let is this is your antenna and you have to find out radiation re resistance of this antenna right and this is your point p and p is in form you have to find out power and power is equal to what e cross h right now power is equal to e cross h so you have you should know the power then only you can find out p radiated or uh, and here if you want to find out p average p average is equal to 1 1 upon 2 uh, real part e cross h so you can put the value of p average and you you have to find out p radiation so p radiation now here power is equal to what power is equal to i square r r is your radiation resistance so when you will find radiation resistance you should know i you should know power i is in form of i rms and i rms is equal to what i 0 upon under root 2 so you can put here the value of i in form of i 0 upon under root 2 and power is equal to what power is equal to integration of pointing vector and area of that pointing vector so you should know the area area in polar coordinates are you have to write down in form of theta and phi and s is the pointing vector so you have to find out pointing vector s now s is equal to what now first you should know the s you can put the value of ds then you can find out here here uh, pointing vector so average of pointing vector so here with the help of this you can find out power then you can put the value of i then you will get the value of radiation it means what it means you have to follow two steps first pointing vector of the file width far field is integrated over a large sphere to obtain the total power radiated and to, second point is total power is equal to i square r then only you will get the radiation uh, resistance radiation radiation resistance so pointing vector so first you have to find out average pointing vector is equal to s is equal to 1 upon 2 r uh, it, this is r e real in bracket e theta h phi this is the complex h phi right now you have to uh, this is your complex conjugate of h phi now here you should know e theta e th sorry e theta is equal to what e th theta is equal to h phi z z is your impedance and you all know z is equal to what z is equal to under root mu naught upon epsilon naught so if you know the value of z so you can find out here you can put the value of uh, z here under root mu naught upon epsilon naught here is your h phi here is your e theta so you can put the value of e theta in form of h phi and in this form means you can put this value in this equation in place of e theta so s is your pointing vector 1 upon 2 real part h phi uh, this h phi you have to put here e theta h phi under root mu 0 upon epsilon 0 dot h phi star right this is your complex par part of h phi now multiply this h phi and complex part of h phi you will get here h phi mode square real part in bracket in bracket under root mu 0 upon epsilon 0 so this is your pointing vector average pointing vector now here total power radiated you have to find out total power radiated and that is equal to what in integration sr ds so here you can put the value of sr as we have done in the previous slide this sr is equal s is equal, equal to 1 upon 2 h phi mode square under root mu 0 upon epsilon 0 so put this value s here sr and write down here ds so ds means area for the polar coordinates area for the polar coordinates are r square sin theta d theta d phi now here and in uh, 1 upon 2 under root epsilon naught 
uh, mu naught upon epsilon naught, you can take common from this integration and integration you have h phi mod square and this is ds. Now, limits for theta is 0 to pi and phi to 0 to 2 pi. So, you can put all these limits and you can find out this value and you will get here h phi is equal to omega i naught l sin theta upon 4 pi c r, right. Now, here, here you have to put, now here you can see substituting equation fifth in equation fourth. So, you can put the value h phi from the previous slide, you can put here h phi is equal to what? This omega i naught l sin theta upon 4 pi c r. So, when you will put h phi here, so you will get this equation p is equal to this, p is equal to 1 upon 2 under root mu naught upon uh, mu naught upon epsilon naught 2 pi integration integration 0 to pi omega square i 0 square l square upon 16 pi square c square sin 3 sin cube theta d theta. So, you should know h phi from the previous slide and you should know total power radiated already we have done uh, sr for in the previous slide. So, you can put the value here sr, you can put the value of ds in form of polar coordinates. So, you will get here total power radiated. When you will put all these values, you will get this equation and h phi from the previous slide, you can put here and you will get the, this final equation. Now, here you will get this equation omega upon c what beta it is equal to beta. So, you can put here beta. So, you will get this equation. Now, here from this equation you can uh, you can integrate sin, uh, sin cube theta and you will get equation here put the value 0 to pi by 2 here you will get 3 minus 1 upon c. Finally, you will get here power is equal to under root mu naught epsilon naught beta square i 0 square l square upon 12 pi watts. So, this is the pow average power radiated by short dipole, right. Now, here you have to calculate radiation resistance. So, power is calculated as in the previous slide that is equal to under root mu naught upon epsilon naught beta square i 0 square l square upon 2 pi. That is equal to what? This is your current i r m s i 0 upon under root 2 square r r. Now, here from this equation you can find out r r is equal to under root mu naught upon epsilon naught beta square l square upon 6 pi. Now, here you can put the value of epsilon naught uh, mu naught and epsilon naught and phi and that is equal to what 377 or 120 pi ohm. So, you can put here the value 120 pi. So, r r is equal to 120 pi in bracket 2 pi upon lambda square l square upon 6 pi because here you can put the value of beta also. So, beta is equal to what 2 pi upon lambda. Now, r r is equal to 20 2 pi upon lambda ka whole square l square and r r is equal to 80 pi square when you will uh, multiply 2 square this is 2 square is 4 4 into 20 is 80 80 pi square l upon lambda ka square. So, finally, radiation resistance is equal to what 790 L upon lambda ka whole square in ohm. Now, RR is equal to I average is equal to 1 upon 2 I 0. So, therefore, RR is equal to 197 L upon lambda ka whole square. So, this is your radiation resistance for the short dipole. Now, first case, radiation resistance for an element of length DL with uniform current density shown in figure that is equal to what? Radiation resistance 80 pi square dl upon lambda ka square or you can uh, write, you can uh, e equivalent equation, you can write down 800 dl means when you will put the value of pi square, you can write down 800 dl upon lambda ka square. In the second case, when you have an element of length dl with known uniform current density, so our equation is equal to r radian 20 pi square dl upon lambda ka square. So, you can put the value pi square here, you will get this a radiation resistance that is equal to 200 L upon lambda ka square ohm. Now, third case is you have to find out radiation resistance for an element of H is equal to 2, 2 DL or that is equal to 2 L with known uniform current density. So, R radiation is equal to what 10 pi square L upon lambda ka square. So, put here the value of pi square. So, here you will get here lambda 800 L upon lambda ka square and in form of h here put the value of l l is equal to what h by 2 so you will get here 400 uh, 
when you will square all these values you can, here you have to put the value of l so in form of h you will get here 400 h upon lambda ka square ohm so this is the figure of uniform current density along a along an element of length dl and this is the tapered it means non uniform current along a short dipole of length l so this is the equivalent circuit now this is the non uniform tapered non uniform current along a short monopole of length h is equal to 2l so these are the three cases of radiating elements now radiation resistance uh, is calculated here uh, by the by this derivation so thank you next video lecture we will next topic we will cover in the next video lecture thank you